I have no idea what we're doing, so what are we doing, guys? Like, actually. Like, I know we're going to see a movie. And Shailene's We're about to go to... Yeah, it's Shailene. Well, Shailene is in it, yeah. That's like pretty much why. And like Chris said, for like, she'll only be in it for like five only minutes. Because oh, no, because you said she was like the eighth only on because, the IMDb list. Only because like she's down. only eighth. Uh, so she might only be in it for it's five like, minutes. Yeah, that's why I was... Why are we even here? <laughs> If you want to see Meg Seven instead, I'm honestly I'm up for anything. Ah uh, no, I, well, I still want to see Shit Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are just outside our one of our local theaters, Galaxy Cinemas. One of our two local one theaters. <laughs> local. Only two. We are going to see Snowden. Snowden. That's With Snowden. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Shailene Woodley. And apparently. Wait, Nicholas Cage. Cage. What? Nicholas Cage. Yes. He's in that movie. He's in Yay, team. what a good what? actor. I'm so glad Shailene? he's in it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing can bring him down. <laughs> Snowden is about the guy Edward Snowden who leaked NASA do uh, classified, NSA. or yeah, nah, NSA, I meant NSA, NSA, <laughs> Spe special classified. space documents, <laughs> yeah, special space documents, uh, special classified documents from the NSA. I watched the documentary Citizen Four, and I found it very interesting. So I really want to see this movie. I want to see that, but I haven't seen it yet. So basically, we are going to go watch it in 17 minutes. It starts. There's like nobody here. Yeah, this theater is literally completely empty. There's like. It's all of less than 10 cars, including ours, so... What day is it today? Monday? It's Monday. Monday, Monday yeah, evening no, at 6.30. Nobody, com nobody comes to theaters on Mondays. <laughs> uh, right after we get out of the movie, we're gonna come back out here. I don't know if we're gonna go somewhere uh, else, whatever do, it is. But yeah. we'll, Tim Hortons, then. Yeah, let's yeah, do right. Hortons. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a honest. quick review. We're all wanting the Timmies. <laughs> I just want the hockey cart. <laughs> I, <didn't laughs> no, I just want to see if I can complete the set. I don't really care about hockey cards in general. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys after the movie for our opinion. All right, see ya. Vape Nation. Got a secret. We're in Tim Hortons right now. Secretly. And it's really weird filming in here. Who's Ben? Who's <laughs> Chris? Choking on a donut. We just went and we watched Snowden uh, about a man in the uh, United States that released classified footage uh, of the government to the people and the press. And uh, it was based off a true story and it was actually really eye opening, I think, for all of us. So, uh, one question I had to ask for both of you is how did you guys like Nicolas Cage in this one? Knowing that he was only in there to be an example for the man saying that, <laughs> oh my goodness, you don't even care. <laughs> I think this is one Nicolas Cage film I can actually stand behind. Even though he's not the main actor, and I think that's probably why. Except he's not even a behind. secondary actor. Huh? He's a background character. Yeah, no, that's the thing. But I think he was needed in this, and I think he played his job well. It's a cool camera shot, man. It's a cool camera shot. I don't know. I felt like he wasn't needed at all. But he was needed to sh like. I'm trying to say like he was needed because he needed to show. He needed to show the man from the very beginning. Uh, when you do find out, like. There's some things that are going to disturb you in this job. You have to kind of just deal with it. And he went and he tried to find out why they're spending like four trillion billion dollars on this other program when his was like half the amount. So when he tried to investigate, he was shut down and sent into this little corner. I, I think I must have just not paid attention at that moment. He's sick. We'll give him no, that. No. It felt like towards the middle of the movie, like a, the middle third basically it was just the, it was like important not right important not important it was and the like story for the whole I know but like I just felt you don't like backstory for a while no I do I actually do but it was just like I felt there was some stuff in there that it was just or like I don't know it was a weird pacing so I kind of lost interest but then gained it back yeah so wait Nicolas Cage uh, Nicholas Cage just looked old the whole time to me. Like, he's, did you he's like pretty the, good. Yeah, he's pretty See? good. Um, Chris. But I really like the film. I really, yes, every girl just watched me turn. 
Oh, I'm upside down now. I really like the film. I'm assuming this is what the question you asked at the, at the beginning, right? Pretty much, yeah. I really like the film. I, I did watch the documentary, uh, Citizen Four, and so in comparison, I think the documentary was still more intense per se. Um, this one was a bit slow going at times, okay. but it was good. So you were saying before this movie, Ben specifically, you wanted to go see this movie to see Shailene. And I would say, so see I. her, you did. <laughs> yes, we did. This was what part <laughs> did you want to describe? <laughs> she wore the very, a very amazing blue dress. Oh, yeah. Just Whoa. very deep. And then she wore and nothing. And then she wore nothing. Boom. 35. So he's 11 years older. That was what I felt kind of throughout this movie was it was a little hard to believe because I knew the age difference. What am I drinking, Ben? Hazelnut ice cap, obviously. Obviously. If you're drinking anything else, you're dumb. <laughs> and what are, what are you drinking? Water. Chris? I'm drinking water. That's something else. I'm not dumb. Two packs oh of cards. Oh my goodness, don't even lay it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's no, two packs two of cards. Two packs of cards, and he bought the third. And to give to you? I guess. I have all three that he gave to me, though. <laughs> I think our I uh, conversation diverted. Yeah, if you get pretty much there's not much else to say. I'm diverted. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jaylee really and Willie, right? Yeah. Because Chris, right? <laughs> what was your overall opinions? I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this movie. What? I'm sorry, what? Um more than one time. Okay. Rephrased. Oh, I, I would recommend this at least once. I do agree, it's only probably a one watch word. Yeah, I don't or think, it's not movie. enjoyable, I think. Or like, if you don't get the message the first time, I don't think you're gonna get it at all. Yeah, uh, 8.2. 8.2, okay. Solid seven. All right, so I, I would say. It's not blocking your face. I would say I'll probably watch this one down the road like when I can get a $5 copy of the movie, like in a couple of years. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah. You'd watch it again? Yeah. Down the road. Is there oh, I would give this one a 7.2. So oh, she missed my rating. Oh, shoot. I've gotta go. Oh, no! Wait, it's what? Heavy enough. No, it's not heavy enough. Good, you hit the, the pole there. Congratulations. <laughs> And it's now it's gone. for the world to see. <laughs> Get Geek certified. And subscribe. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting that on my dash. I'm going to go honk at them. It's going to be funny. There they are. Chasing me. Take what you have. Did you just chuck a cup at me? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I lost my, my straw line over there. What the heck? You just chucked that out of my car. Don't do it! Don't make me drop it, don't make me drop it, don't make me drop it. I am going zero kilometers an hour in the parking lot with uh, Kyle and Ben. Just walking to McDonald's, I'm staying out of the rain. It's not, it's raining. not raining. It is raining, look up there! It's raining. So don't hit us. Yeah, there's, there's a key point. <laughs> Don't you feel like we're like being surrounded by kind of like a biker gang, but then it's Chris, so then you don't? <laughs> we're walking to McDonald's, right? Because we're hungry. And he lost his straw. I feel like, and I still got mine. After a movie. So do I. Exactly. Your gas is barely being wasted. No, you should be in neutral. That doesn't waste gas at all. Well, it's working. See? But I'm, I'm going. Bye! But yeah, I know, I know. You're going to stop on the hill, though. I know. I always drive in neutral. Security. <laughs>
Security guard. Security guard. Volvo and Kyle. And Volvo and Kyle. And Volvo and Sears. And Kyle and Volvo. <laughs> And Chris and Sears and Kyle and Ben and Volvo <laughs> and Volvo. <laughs> That's right, you stop. I'm super. I'm no. not <laughs> This is how they wrapped my McChicken at McDonald's. My junior chicken. It's like literally. Hello. I don't think I've been in a McDonald's, like physically, in like, for like a year or two. I don't really? remember, I don't remember, but I've always gone to the drive-thru. So that blew my mind. That's a touchscreen. That must menu. be brand new. Like I have, like, I, here, like it's been several months. No! You need to unbox properly. Wait, you forgot to unbox so the, this, straw. So the straw. this is the straw. That's the wrapper of the straw. And this is the straw itself. We're going to tear into it carefully without ripping the straw. Oh, let, let's notice the seam. How's the seam? Uh, the seam, <laughs> the seam was intact before I ripped it. It looks intact. Sure, I, I see there's the bottom. Out of it. There's the bottom and the top. Go. That is the childish way to Look, do it. You have to. You put it through your nose. <laughs> carefully rip it from the top. I could have done better. Give a little bit of a pinch room, about about one finger work, <laughs> and then I pull. What the heck are you on? There we go. <laughs> like insert <laughs> unboxing the straw. What else do we have, Kyle? What's else on the bed? <laughs>